For the last four and a half years, we've been sailing around full time in our all electric sailboat, Sersha. Almost 10,000 nautical miles and over 180 anchorages, all with an electric motor as the heart of our tiny floating home. Let me take you back to where this all started. When we rescued Sersha, she had a seized motor. So we ripped it out and placed in our 10 kilowatt electric motor, Sparky. And even though we don't use the motor often, we really do like having it working. And besides a chip going bad once, he's been trucking along great until when we were about to leave Jamaica, this happened. But we decided to continue on sailing from Jamaica to Guatemala, where we would dig into the issue. Bo pulled out our assembly to find out the culprit was not the motor, but the coupler that connected the motor to the transmission. Now that we've torn out the transmission, we've decided to upgrade our electric setup and completely get rid of that old rusty tranny and put in a nice brand new reducer. But first, we had to sail all the way from Guatemala to Florida to pick up the parts. Hey guys, Brandy from the future here. No, we didn't buy a house. <laughs> However, I wanted to talk to you guys about gut health today. For about a year now, we've been taking Rituals multivitamins, and recently, since we've been to Florida, we've been able to pick up their Symbiotic Plus, which is a three-in-one clinically tested prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic uh, supplement. The top five supplement companies, they don't even include a postbiotic, so this one's really special. These guys help support our immune system, our gut health, and our digestive health. So why do we even need these guys? Well, prebiotics actually help support the growth and activity of the living good bacteria in your gut. The probiotics are the living microorganisms in your gut that we all talk about, we all know and love. Postbiotics provide the fuel for the cells that create the gut lining that helps support the gut barrier function. We can take these bad boys night or day with or without food and they don't require refrigeration which is awesome and i can set them right next to our multivitamin so i don't forget them and just like the multivitamin they have an essence of mint so, so good <laughs> and what's really neat is they have this time release capsule that can make it past your stomach and into your colon where these are actually able to survive and thrive and one reason we love and keep taking and trust a ritual is that they are traceable all of their ingredients suppliers and the key studies are all listed on their website. Your gut is called the second brain for a reason and we like to feed ours the right things. However, every now and then we need help and this is coming in huge. So if you guys are looking to better your gut health, your digestive health and your immune health, check it out. You can get 20% off your first order. All you have to do is go to ritual.com forward slash bowbrandy20 and get 20% off by using our checkout code bowandbrandy20. I'll leave all the links in the description below for you. Now that we made it back to Florida, we've been able to pick up these parts that we need to get this electric motor back in operation. Our motor has 5,000 max recommended RPMs. Because it's such high RPMs, we need a reducer. If you don't know, a reducer is used to increase the torque and decrease the speed of the motor's output shaft, which we need because Sersha requires a lot of torque to turn the prop efficiently and push her along the water. It's a simple design. It's got a main mounting plate where the motor mounts. It comes semi-assembled with the reduction pulley and shaft mounted to the plate. So in order to get the motor back in business, we're throwing out the old hearth and putting in this reducer from Thunderstruck. So before I start cutting and fiberglassing, I'm just mocking this up real quick, just getting an idea of how it's gonna lay in here. It looks like I'm gonna have to actually um, cut out this old oil pan and glass in some supports a little bit lower than where this oil pan lip rests, just so I have a little more play and adjustability. 
So I'm just gonna trim up these mounting brackets because they're too long. So I'm not able to get the full assembly down in there because our hull is so close together. Originally, we used the transmission that came with Sersha and was attached to the diesel, mainly because it was the most cost-effective solution. But before we go any further, I'm removing the old transmission coupler. I was hoping to reuse it uh, just because it's been faced and balanced and it would be less work for me. But unfortunately, I'm unable to use the other side of that coupler because it's permanently mounted to the transmission. So before I go any further, I got to take it off. Almost there. Woohoo! Finally! <laughs> Jeez. How many hours have you been working on that? Uh, I don't know, four. I wish I could have just used the rat, the impact for the whole thing, but I had to use. What, what size hold is on, this wrench? Hold on. I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> okay. Oops. Too much light. I had to use this 24 inch that I'm you're sitting, sitting on. <laughs> this big old boy, that took forever. That literally took like four hours. But thankfully I didn't have to cut it off. I was reading online, some people were cutting them off. Oh man. Uh, it's off. All these tools. <sighs> I guess they're needed. This um this gear is not gonna work the way it is. We either have to get a new shaft and get it re keyed and faced and balanced, or we just go to a machine shop and get the keyway largened hopefully that's an option because that's going to be the easiest and probably the cheapest uh, hiccups, hiccups because if we need a new prop shaft we have to take it all the way out well yeah so we would have to disassemble the prop and then pull the shaft out and then plug it. Most people do that out of the water. Mm, yeah, some people do. You could do it in the water. If your prop isn't seized onto your shaft. When's the last time we've actually taken the shaft, or the prop off the shaft? <laughs> Since it was new. But yeah, I think this will be the best option. I just don't know how difficult it'll be for them to machine that. I don't see how it would be that hard. Oh well. Better to find out now. None, none of this stuff's ever straightforward, right? I'm going in. I got a nice little plastic sheet. I'm going to use this little bubble to contain some of this fiberglass dust. And a vacuum. Got my respirator and some goggles. Should be set. But I really don't want to do this. I hate grinding on fiberglass. Uh, I decided to leave some of the oil pan in here. But I got this all kind of ground down and smoothed out on both ends. 
and I cut out some templates just to give me an idea of how these are going to sit up in here. Um, just so I can cut some wood and then we can start glassing. But yeah, these are going to kind of sit here. And then my mounts are going to sit on top of these. Sorry, but not sorry, neighbors. You were running your chainsaws at 2.30 in the morning the other night. <laughs> Chopping up rich people. <laughs> You guys will never guess what I used to keep that in place. I didn't think this was gonna work, but it did, which is mind boggling because the wood's kind of heavy. I was able to hot glue the wood into place. That way now I can take my time with putting in thickened epoxy to create a radius and laying in the glass all at once. Oh yeah, like butter, <laughs> like soft butter. Look, Ridiculous. look how easy that was. $8 Harbor Freight special. <laughs> Next up, fiberglass. Yeah, fiberglass. <laughs> Time to check how well of a job I did. Not too bad. Looks like I might have a little bubble here or there. All right, the great reveal. Oh, I love this stuff. Thank you, Total Boat. Man, look at that. So smooth. Actually, it came out really well. Pretty happy with it. Just want to test how strong it is. Standing on it. Yeah, that's pretty solid. If it can hold me, it definitely can hold the motor assembly. So I called pretty much all the machine shops around and they said I need somebody who has a broacher to broach a new keyway, but I can't find anybody. And they also said it's gonna be stupid expensive. One guy suggested I just file it down. And I was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about it. So here I am. Hopefully this doesn't take all day, but if it does, oh well. Now that we got the bilge all painted up and finally got that sprocket on that shaft, I'm just lining things up. It looks like actually it's pretty dead on, so I don't need too much adjustment. Unfortunately, I don't really have, I, I, I have to mount these mounts dead on. I don't really have any adjustment there. But outside of that, hopefully uh, everything will go together pretty, pretty smoothly.
I like this assembly because the design allows for an easy belt replacement and tensioning. The alignment should be pretty simple as well. all wired up I've got the key the moment of truth ready all right give her some gas I'm afraid <laughs> Did you go? I did. It's not, not going. It's not working? I don't know. I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? You should probably be down there watching it. It's all the way? Yeah. Huh. Can you turn it neutral now? Yeah. Yeah, go reverse. Not working. <laughs> Not sure why. Round two. Well, it didn't work the first time, so we're going to do it again. Are you ready? Do it. Oh! Ah! All right. Go ahead and kill it. Yes, we have a motor again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Good job, Bobby. Yay. It was actually some corrosion between two connectors. So I just cleaned that up and we are right as rain. Right as rain. Right as rain. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but you know. Boism. Oh, we're good to go, put it that way. I still need to add the two supports here because when it's going, it's vibrating a lot. So that'll stiffen it up quite a bit. Oh yeah. Not even moving. Put these braces on. Right there. And right there. Before it was moving around, especially when you gave it a lot of gas, but now it is solid. For watching. Be sure to tune in next week when we put this electric motor to the test. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do so. It really, really helps our channel grow and we super duper appreciate it. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons who help keep these productions alive. If you would like to join the ranks of all these folks on the screen and get some behind the scenes, captain's logs, live chats, all sorts of other goodies, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And until next week, we'll see ya.